All right, this is the quarterly subscription box from Cloth and Paper. They call it Estate. It's listed at $350, but I don't think they've ever charged $350 for it. It is always on sale for $149. And then with tax, I paid, I think, $153. And last time I got this, I said I was going to cancel it. But as you know, I did not. Or as you can see, I did not. I was kind of lazy about it. And, you know, I did have FOMO, I'll admit it. So uh, this seems to be, I think, an inventory of everything that comes in the box. Yes. So... That's pretty much it. So this is supposed to be more like their signature. So we've got body care, nail polish, waistband. What is a waistband? Okay, let's just open this and see what this is. Yeah, that's just an invoice. So first of all, I do appreciate that it comes in a box, in a box. Sometimes, especially the Erin Condren surprise box, uh, which obviously is much less, is only 40. The box is what gets mailed out. And so if you were thinking like, oh, I would save this, you can't because it is like all scuffed up with delivery, like markings and everything else. But um, this box is pretty simple. Uh, there's nothing fancy about it. It is not uh, UV uh, printed or anything else, but it's trying to tell you what esteem means. A person who has or affects to have a special appreciation of art and beauty. Um, all right, so uh, we have a nice little sticker here and uh, she always does a really great job with packaging. I'm just going to turn this this way because it's easier to see. Uh, and we have a little cloth bag with something in here. And as you know, I am not the best at guessing all the time what stuff is. So maybe I should leave that thing out. This looks like a travel bag. I don't know why. She is really into using real leather. Um, she never uses faux leather. So if you are someone who is just even slightly like a PETA person, um, you may not appreciate that. I mostly just like faux leather better, not uh, because of that, but mostly because it's lighter, it's easier. Um, I just don't know what I would do with this. Uh, I guess it's for people who travel. Okay, so I'm just going to say that's a traveling bag. Um, what do we have here? We have my waistband. Again, oh, it's a fanny pack. It's a fanny pack. I don't know why it doesn't just say fanny pack. Maybe fanny pack doesn't sound as like stylish as waistband. That's possibly what's going on here. But it is a fanny pack called a waistband, which... Um, I don't know. Do I need fanny packs? I don't think I need fanny packs. I do have a fanny pack, and it is just to hold my cell phone for when I go on walks. Uh, but even then, I usually walk with my friend Camila, so I don't even really bring my fanny pack. Okay, so we have a fanny pack. It is nylon-ish. I don't know if that makes it like fancier, but I don't really have a use for fanny packs. Okay, Rookie. Uh, this is, it looks like these are drinks, which I cannot eat. As you know, I am super, super sensitive to any chemicals. Uh, so it doesn't even list what's inside of here. That's like a death cocktail for me. So probably a hundred percent not going to do this. Oh, I see. So sleep, sleep, immunity. Well, yeah, definitely not trying any of these, but I'm sure they're wonderful. I just am super sensitive to any chemicals, so I can't eat anything that is sketchy uh, or doesn't list out every single ingredient. All right, lip balm. We have soothing lip balm from Aesthet. Let's see. Um, yeah. All right, so that's lip balm. <laughs> and what else do we have? We have nail polish. And I actually just polished my nails just for this video. So we'll see. Oh, this is like an orangish red. I look, I don't know why, Asians usually look awful in red. I think it's because we have a little bit more of an olive, uh, like yellowish tinge to our skin. So red just looks awful hideous. So um, that's a no. <laughs> so let's see, coconut butter cookies. Uh, let's see, let's look at the ingredients. Um, enriched flour, I can't do that. Yeah, I can't do any of these. Thiamine mononitrate, riboflavin. Um, well, I guess those are just minerals. Uh, butter, sugar, desiccated coconut, eggs, uh, sodium ammonium sulfate. That's a no. Monocalcium sulfate. 
I mean, it's not too bad, um, but I'm going to stay away from it. And I know Ben won't eat it. He doesn't like coconut. I don't know why. Even coconut butter, which isn't, I don't think, a big deal. Okay, so more cookies. We have oat chip. Uh, these are both from the Lark Company. And same thing. Oh, no, different ingredients. Uh, sugar, brown sugar. Yeah, I don't know why. I can't have, like, pure sugar. Um sunflower oil that's okay i cannot eat sunflower lecithin and ammonium monocalcium sulfate is probably a no uh sodium aluminum sulfate hmm, that's odd i feel like that's what they put in shampoo but i could be wrong this actually doesn't look too bad it doesn't have too many weird ingredients all right i'm probably not going to eat it though i actually just don't like cookies um i know weird right like i love cupcakes i love um I would say I love brownies. I love cakes. I love uh, ice cream, but I'm just not like cookies aren't really my thing. Although I do like cookie dough. Uh, this is a piece of, I guess this is soap. Wait, honey soap. It smells like nothing. I will a hundred percent not use this. I just, I really like the deodorant soap that I get from Irish spring. Um, I just feel cleaner. Let's see. What is this? Uh, yeah, I feel like, I don't know why. I feel like vegan soap, and I know people who are vegan are probably going to get upset when I say this, but vegan, natural, anything natural soap, I feel like every person I've ever met who uses that stuff has really strong BO. And I, I really believe in using like chemical uh, deodorant. So I think it's, it's very important. Uh, let's see, Nuri eye cream. which may or may not ever come out. Oh, there we go. All right. So I only use Kiehl's avocado eye cream. Um, and this feels, it's kind of too thin for my eyes. I really like the thickness of the avocado eye cream. So maybe this, I would use this as body lotion. I don't think I would ever, ever, ever put this on my face. But um, yeah, it could be body lotion. Not that I need body lotion. Um, I don't think I've ever worn lotion. Um, so my skin just never gets dry, even in the winter. Uh, let's see. New York. So we got a notebook. No, it's not a notebook. It is just an advertisement book of all the other New York products, which I don't know. Um, let's see. Let's look. I mean, it's nice packaging. It's glass, uh, but it doesn't really smell like anything, so that's probably a good thing. Um, but it doesn't feel rich and luxurious. Like It just feels like lotion. And honestly, it feels kind of sticky. Like I feel kind of dirty right now. Like I, I'm definitely going to go wash my hands. I'm not going to leave this lotion on. So, uh, But, you know, to be fair, I think this is meant to be eye cream. Um, so I will probably never use that. Okay, so we are like 0 and 10 for everything in this box. So maybe I should have uh, canceled this. Let's see. Oh no, more moisturizing lotion because I definitely will not use that either. Okay, let's, let's test it out. Okay, it is, it's like a safety cap. I don't know. There we go. Oops. Um, all right, so this is, let's put this on another part. All right, this smells a little better. I don't know how to say, like the other one didn't smell weird. This one just smells a little bit more neutral. Um, and again, keep in mind, I use Kiehl's, which is like scent free. Uh, it smells like a fresher, it does have some kind of a scent to it. Um, obviously nothing very strong because I can't identify it. Um, but yeah. So sanitizing, a sanitizing moisturizing hand cream. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, I don't know that I've ever wanted my lotion to sanitize me, but I guess with everything going on with COVID, everyone is super paranoid about everything. Okay, so that is pretty much it. This was just a really big box just to hold this one cream. Um, we got cookies that have ingredients that I probably can't eat. We have, I have no idea what the ingredients are in these, but it looks like they're supposed to help you with sleep, immunity. Um, I am too afraid to try them, but that's just me. Uh, we have this random bar of natural soap, which uh, I've now shared with you what I believe about natural soap. I believe it's completely ineffective. We have this orangish red nail polish, which again, just doesn't work for my particular skin tone. Um, 
We have this eye cream, which again felt, I, I can't wait to wash my hands when I'm done finishing this video. Uh, we have a fanny pack. Um, what else? We have an advertisement for Niori. Uh, we have a leather case of, I guess, stuff you can put in if you travel. And I think that's it. Oh, nope. We have lip balm. And yeah, that's a wrap. So was this worth $153? Definitely not. So, okay. So I know I said I'm not going to, I'm going to cancel it and I never do. I 100% am going to cancel. I'm not going to order again. This was just not stuff that I really liked. I don't know. Let me know what you thought, um, if you liked it, and if you would have loved all of the things in here.